Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be discussing how to add and program new TPMS sensors on your vehicle, along with how to update the overall circumference, the tire size on your vehicle so that your speedometer is showing the accurate values. Now, full disclosure, I'm not an auto mechanic, not an auto tech. It's not my background. I'm just an average Jeep owner. And I like to learn new things and you know save some money. Now, recently I published a video showing how I went from the stock tire, mostly stock tire size, on my Jeep here. This is a Jeep Wrangler JK, going from that stock tire size to a 35 inch tall tire. So if you didn't catch that previous video and you wanna know what kind of tires I went with and all the different hurdles I had to jump through to get to that point, I'll put a card up above and a link in the description below. But in that video, I promised that I would report back on how adding the TPMS sensors went and also updating the wheel size so that the speedometer is correct. And so that's really what all this is, is stemming from. And so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that using this King Bolin K7 scanner. Now King Bolin sent me this quite some time ago. I've used it in some of my other videos, mainly just on my GMC Sierra pickup truck showing you know live data like current gear and things like that. But this scanner is bi-directional, and so it can actually write data to your vehicle, which is pretty neat. And so it's advertised as being able to update and program TPMS sensors along with update the overall wheel diameter. Now again, full disclosure, I have never done this before personally, and so basically I'm gonna show you today what this device can and can't do with the goal being to add the TPMS sensors and fix the overall wheel tire size. Now, let me just interject real quickly. If you're watching this and you're asking the question, why not just take your vehicle to the dealer or a tire shop and have them add the TPMS sensors and reprogram them? Valid question for sure. I mean, basically TPMS sensors have a lifespan, some say five to six years, others eight to 10 years. But basically if you have a vehicle that's approaching the end of its life on those TPMS sensors and you're getting new tires, it just makes sense to get new TPMS sensors. Otherwise, you're gonna have to pay to have, you know, the tires rebalanced, rebounded eventually. And so my vehicle's at that age, so I needed new TPMS sensors. If you go to a dealer, most are gonna quote upwards of 800 all the way $1,000 and higher for TPMS sensors. I know it's crazy. And then even tire shops, most of them are gonna charge between 600 and 800 dollars for those TPMS sensors and to reprogram to your vehicle, which sounds really odd. For me personally, it's really difficult to justify spending that kind of money just so I can see the tire pressure on my EVIC on the center cluster there. So what I did is I went onto Amazon and I found some TPMS sensors. These are aftermarket, of course, but they're supposed to be compatible with Jeep vehicles. And so they have the right frequency right there and all that good stuff. So I took these when I had my tires mounted and balanced, took these to the tire shop, said, hey, use these as the valve stems, as the TPMS sensors. I will take care of programming everything later on. And so here we are, now I am attempting to do all that. Now, one very, very important step in this whole process is before I gave the TPMS sensors to the tire shop to install, I took a picture of them all because each one has a unique ID on it, kind of like a serial number. And so when I go to add these in manually to the vehicle, I need to have those IDs. And so obviously if I didn't take a picture of them, there's no way to get those IDs once they're installed. So definitely take a picture of all your TPMS sensors. That way you've got that handy. So let me show you what I found out. Again, I'm gonna be using the King Bolin K7. This one is wireless. And so you're gonna plug this module into your OBD2 port, and then it's communicating through Bluetooth with this module right there. Now I'm going to screen record everything here so you can get a better view, but basically I've got it plugged into the Jeep here and I'm going to go into the scan, the blue scan right here first. And you can manually select your vehicle or just do the auto search. The auto search works pretty good on this one. So that's what I'm gonna do. And it basically just scans the VIN and identifies your vehicle right there. Usually goes pretty quick here. Okay, so there it goes. We got a little warning there. We're just gonna hit okay. Another warning, we hit OK. And it is downloading something right here. We're gonna hit OK again. And apparently the software here in my Jeep is not completely up to date. This device is significantly newer, but I haven't taken it to the dealer in a long time. And so I'm just gonna ignore that. Okay, so we get to this screen right here and we have several options. 
I'm gonna to go to the system selection because I happen to know that the TPMS settings and everything are gonna be found in that area. So I'm gonna scroll through these and right there we have TPMS. So we're gonna go into tire pressure monitoring system. And then we have a bunch of different options right here. So usually in the past when I've done things on other vehicles, special function is typically where I go to actually write things. And sure enough, okay, so there we have it, program, left front tire sensor ID, rear, all that good stuff. Okay, so yeah, it's all right there. So if I go to left front first, warns us that we're you know writing data, so we have to be careful. And then it tells us to make sure we have that ID, that seven character sensor ID available. And again, guys, that's what I took a picture of on my phone before I even gave the sensors to the tire shop so I would have that information handy. And all of them have a, sure enough, a seven character ID. So that's perfect. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then right there, I can enter that ID. And so that's pretty handy. Of course, I wanna make sure I match the case and everything, and that way I'm good to go. So that's great that we can use the King Bowen K7 to update and program the different TPMS sensor IDs, but let me let you in on a, a secret. I decided to take the Jeep on a quick little test drive after I installed my new tires, and within driving about five miles, all of a sudden, all the TPMS values automatically updated on my Jeep here. Now that completely surprised me because again, I only paid $50 for all five of them. They've been working flawlessly reading in the tire pressure and how can I do it for $50 and yet an auto shop charges $600, $700 minimum, if not over $1,000 for the same service when it was easy as just installing them during mounting and balancing and then driving around for about five miles or so, right? So maybe it was a fluke, right? I understand that some people that go through this process have issues and maybe one or two of them don't read in and update properly. And so certainly I think that's when a device like this could really be handy because then you could just add in the IDs and hopefully force the computer to you know, read in the TPMS. So I wanted to at least show you that yes, you can do it on the King Bowen if you're having trouble and you've gone down the same path that I have and you have not been able to get them to read in, you can use the King Bolin to add in those sensor IDs. But in my case, surprisingly, it appears that I didn't even need this in the first place. I just had to drive around for about five miles or so and it updated everything automatically. So that really surprised me. And I mean, certainly guys, if you're watching this video and some time has passed since it's publishing, definitely drop me a comment below and ask me, hey, are the TPMS sensors still working or did you have any trouble? and I'll give you an update gladly, but it appears that I'm all set and I really didn't need this device. Let me show you the next problem that I wanted to solve and that is updating the wheel circumference so that my speedometer is accurate. And so I'm also gonna use the King Bowen K7. I'm still in the mode where I left off. By the way, guys, I've got the Jeep, the ignition in the run mode, but the engine is not on. So I'm gonna go out of the menu, the TPMS menu that I was in and we're going to go back to the system selection screen here. And so I happen to know that the speedometer, the wheel circumference setting is going to be in the BCM, the body control module. So I'm gonna click on that body control module. It's gonna download some software for that. And then again, we have a very similar looking page. We can read all kinds of data and it's, it's super helpful what you can do here. But I'm gonna go again to the special function. Typically, if you're going to write anything to the vehicle with that bi-directional functionality, it's gonna be under special functions. So just check out all the things that I can do here under the BCM, all the different things that I can change. Pretty neat here. And sure enough, look, there it is. Program tire size. Okay, so it's warning me that if I go in here, it is, you know, changing the state of the vehicle and it's telling me what this function is all about. I'm going to hit OK. And so here it's telling me what my current tire size selected is. Now, before recording this, I actually played around a lot on this device to figure out where everything was. But the first time that this screen was pulled up, 
it actually listed the not only the tire size that originally came with my vehicle, but the actual tire brand and model. So it listed, you know, Goodyear, Wrangler, I think it was an all-terrain, if I remember right, that came on this vehicle originally. And it actually listed that and showed it to me. Now, I'm gonna hit the OK button right here, and you can see it's going to tell me then what the currently programmed circumference is of the, the tire in, oddly, in millimeters. So 2,495 millimeters, right? Which has no meaning whatsoever to me because I just don't think in, in millimeters. So what I have to do then is calculate what is the circumference of the tire that I've got installed. You certainly could you know, pull out a soft tape measure and measure all the way around to get probably the most accurate measurement possible. But I happen to know that the tires I have on the, the Jeep right now, they are Venom Power Swamp Thing Mud Terrains. And it's basically a 35 inch tall tire, but technically it is 34.4 inches. So if you take that and convert, that's the height, the diameter of the tire. If you take that and convert it to millimeters and then use the pi, you know, 3.14, you can see that is what the current circumference all the way around my tire is in millimeters right there. So 2,744 millimeters compared to 2,495 millimeters, which is what it's currently set to, okay? So I wanna change that, so I'm gonna hit okay. And guys, here is the, the bad news as I discovered. What you're seeing right here are all the different tire sizes that you can choose from to update the BCM, the computer, so that it knows what the circumference is. That's great, but what you're looking at is the only sizes that you can choose from. And so, I mean, they're really limited right here. So I went through all these sizes and picked the largest size based on the circumference, and it's really the LT25 75R17. I mean, if you calculate out all the circumferences of all these different tires, that's the largest tire on this menu. And that's kind of unfortunate. And I think what's going on here is basically, these are all the stock tire sizes that were available on this particular, you know, JK Wrangler. And perhaps, you know, they're thinking, uh, you know, mechanics that are updating the, the tire size, they don't want them having to manually calculate because maybe they get that wrong, maybe they don't know how to do it. And so instead they're just making it easy for the mechanic to just choose a stock tire size, you know, whether you've got the Rubicon or a Sport, right? Well, the problem is they only go up so high. And so, you know, mine was 2,744 millimeters. That's the circumference of my current tire. And the largest one on here is about 2,500 millimeters. So I'm about, you know, 244 millimeters off. And so unfortunately, I can't really truly get the accurate, you know, tire size to read in here, at least on the King Bowen K7. Now, after doing a little more research, I discovered there is a wildly popular app among Jeep owners called JScan, and that allowed me to enter a custom sized tire. So I bought a $30 Bluetooth OBD2 reader and combined with a $25 JScan license, I got everything sorted out. The JScan app, it let me select a custom tire size. It was very user friendly. You just select the diameter in inches, and then it does all the calculations behind the scenes and updates the, the BCM. It has sizes all the way up to about 44 inches, I think was the max, so quite a few options and they're in quarter inch increments. So you just select the closest to your, your tire size. And after updating it, I actually verified my speedometer using GPS and I, I came back and I tweaked it to 34.25, so 34 and a quarter. And that got me basically to within one tenth of a mile per hour in terms of accuracy. It even let me update the TPMS thresholds since you know I'm running lower PSI, of course, with the, the larger 35 inch tires. And so that way I don't get any erroneous warning lights. And guys, I'm happy to report that I've been driving around for several weeks since updating all these settings and everything has worked flawlessly. So I'm really thrilled in the end 
I mean, the, the King Bolin K7, I think it's a very powerful scan tool. It's got a lot of great features. But if you've got a, a Jeep like me, really the, the J-Scan and just a basic OBD2 Bluetooth reader, it's all you need. So for under $60, you can do all the programming and probably you know, save yourself several hundred dollars compared to paying a, a dealership to do it. Guys, if you have updated the circumference on your Jeep JK and you've used a different device, definitely drop a comment down below and let others know what have you used that was successful. And I think that would be really helpful, not just to me, but others who are in the same boat. Guys, if you didn't catch the previous video I did on the Venom Power Tires, definitely check them out. I am really enjoying the tires and I am gonna come back and do a more of a long-term review after I put some mileage on them and let you know what it's like to live with them. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. I will include links to everything down below. So I appreciate you using those to help support the channel. As always, thanks for watching.